Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I got my Stevens hat on and I won't be driving this road possibly much longer. Depends on where I go. I had a feeling two months ago, very deep gut feeling that Stevens Tanker was going to be out of business. And I thought about it and I'm like, okay, well they, they lost a big client for the sand division because that client went out of business, filed bankruptcy. And it was like 60% of their business on the sand side. I'm on the water side. And so I'm like, well, you know, maybe they'll recover. You know, the sand is where all the money's at. But like all within a week, the fuel aisle stopped working. The def that you put in the truck stopped working. We had a hose shortage. The wash bay for the truck stopped working. Like a bunch of stuff was went bad really quickly. And I thought, well, this could all be coincidence, you know. Um, but several weeks ago, it became very clear. Of course, they were sending people home consistently over the last two months. So that was an obvious sign. I'm like, well, maybe it'll pick back up. I know they're trying, you know. I'm not going to be a doomsday person. But um, <clears throat> it was very, very obvious two-ish weeks ago when, uh, well, they lost EOG, then they lost, you know, Oklahoma and Louisiana yards that they were doing because they lost Marathon out there. And uh, when I found out that they were selling the new trucks and not bringing them here, I was like, there's only one reason for that. One reason only that I can think of. There could be other reasons. But you don't sell your new equipment if you are planning on staying in business. So, uh, we've got till the 15th of October. And I've had two months to prepare mentally for it. I, I wrote an email two weeks ago to a friend of mine who works at home to see if I could you know, get some advice to try to do that because, you know, I don't really want to be a CDL driver. It's a good thing that guy has his lights on. That actually helps. But, um, uh, I waited a week because I'm like, all right, I, I wrote it out and I'm like, I'm just going to hold on to this because maybe I'm panicking. And, uh, then I sent it a week ago and, uh, you know, he gave me some advice and stuff. We actually talked last night for like 46 minutes. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, yesterday at, oh, 1 o'clock, I went on Facebook and I put out a parable, parabolic uh, thing that only people that knew what was happening would know. Uh, only I did that 30 minutes before the email came out that... Uh, brought me from 90% sure to 100% sure. Um, that email came out at 1.33 in the afternoon. And uh, it was from the president of the company and saying that all operations are going to shut down. Uh, just a week ago, I was telling people, this does not look good. And uh, this looks like we're closing down and uh, even people above me were like, no, we're, we're good. Our, um, our contracts are solid and all that. So either they knew and they had to play a denial game or they didn't know. And uh, I, a mere driver, saw this coming before almost everybody. I don't know anybody that was saying we're going to be out of business uh, two months ago or several weeks ago it just it became more clear like so two months ago I would have been like yeah we got a 50 50 chance maybe that went up to 80 percent chance uh, a couple of weeks ago 90 percent chance a couple of days ago and of course it's a hundred percent chance now so uh I haven't 
posted a video in a while. I thought I'd update everybody on uh, my life. It was a very comfortable life, and uh, it's going to be a little bit of disruption. I'm going to probably have to work night shift for a while. Probably not going to have my Sundays off for a while. But uh, a lot of places are hiring, so uh, I already filled filled out one application last night. Uh, I was up till 9 or 10 or something like that. And uh, so anyway, that's what that was all about. Talk to you later. Bye.